We're gonna miss the sunset. <laughs> Off on another adventure we go. So, where are we going today? We've got a little adventure, another one in Shropshire, at a place called Wenlock Edge. Some of you may know it, some of you may not, and I'm gonna be joined today by a completely new face to the channel, my old friend Matty. None of you have met him before, and if we're lucky, because I'm starting this video in the afternoon slash evening, we might just catch a beautiful sunset. Arriving in style. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, you? Yeah, I'm all right, mate, yeah. So, this is Maddie. What up? Right, should we head off to Much Wenlock? Absolutely. Let's okay, go. right, let's go. Right, we're gonna see you guys in a sec, and we're gonna head off to Much Wenlock. See you in a bit. Did you see what the sign said? What's that? Car park locked at dusk. <laughs> <laughs> so unless we're planning on staying here the night, you haven't got a tent with you, have you? No. <laughs> so should we find somewhere else to park? That would be a wise idea. <laughs> you... Okay, right. We're gonna have a look for a place to park. This is the official National Trust car park for Wenlock Edge, but it closes at dusk and we're hoping to catch a sunset tonight. So uh, it's not gonna be a great idea to park up here. Do you want me to lead the way? I'll let you do the honours this time. All right, okay, I'll lead the way. Right, let's try and find a parking space. Here we are, eventually, finally, thank God, parked up on the side of the road. Hopefully I haven't niffed off too many neighbours. But um, but yeah, we're here at Wenlock Edge, much Wenlock, Shropshire. What are you thinking, Matty? You feeling fit? No. <laughs> it's only 5k. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't we give a little introduction to Matty and see what you have to say for yourself. Why don't you say hello to the viewers? Hello viewers, hello YouTube. <laughs> hello mum. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, Matty. I, I know everything about you. Yeah, of course. Because we've been friends for years. But why don't you tell the viewers a bit about you and what it is you do? So I do a lot of landscape photography. So you can catch me on Instagram where I do a lot. I do, I cover mostly much Wenlock all the way around. What's your Instagram? Okay. Uh, Matty Photographer. Matty Photographer, okay. So, yeah, always feel free to give us a cheeky follow. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> shameless plug. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. we've got some horses, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. You'll see quite a few of them on this walk. That was a nice little treat, that was. Yeah. Can you see the donkeys? Two donkeys. Yes, I can, yeah. Beautiful horses. That, that's incredible. Oh, on a lot of these walks, I normally just see horses doing this in a field. Oh, yeah. That's all I see them doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not really moment. doing much, yeah. you know, walking around a little bit, maybe tempting them with a bit of grass. Look at that. Another thing I wanted to mention in this video, guys, that I've been absolutely completely taken back by is the fact that this channel has recently hit 3,000 subscribers. And that to me is, to be honest, unbelievable. I cannot believe that 3,000 of you have decided to click subscribe and join me on this journey. I know from a personal perspective how much a channel needs to put in effort for me to subscribe to them, so I can only imagine how much faith you guys have had in me to press subscribe over the past 12 months. It's been uh, an absolutely crazy journey. Never thought I'd be doing some of the journeys I've been doing over the past 12 months due to the pandemic. It's forced me to improvise, think about different ideas, think about my local area much more. And yeah, I just can't really thank you guys enough for keeping me going, keeping me motivated to make these videos and make this content for you. Also as well, I want to give a massive shout out, an extra big shout out, to the channel members of this channel. Those of you that have actually decided to contribute to the channel on a monthly basis, I'll put a little screen up here actually, so you can see all the names of the channel members that have decided to contribute towards me on a monthly basis. Oh, I'm getting breathless already, mate. Ooh. I always say it on my walks, but hearing the birds tweet, I don't even have a clue what that bird is, but just hearing it tweet, 
Would you call that a tweet? It is. It is, it is a tweet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe someone can recognise the noise and leave a comment below. But I don't know if you've noticed, Matty, but along this route, I'm smelling wild garlic. Yeah, I am as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a sh I can only assume that that is wild garlic. Um, possibly. Possibly. Possibly not as well. Possibly not. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> anything <laughs> about plants, about bushes. Maybe someone can leave another comment below yeah. and tell me if uh, wild garlic is present at Wenlock Edge. But that is strong. It is. Stronger that is, than that. That is strong. For a minute, as we turned that bend, I thought, you had a kebab last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just cooking a really nice pizza and you can smell it, can't you? you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's had chicken tikka with garlic mayo last yeah, night. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's, that's, that tastes nice. That tastes nice, actually. It does, not it? Wow, that is strong now. Yeah. Wow, that is strong. Oh, this will be fun. Is it, is it locked? I think so, but it isn't anymore because I got through. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> You just need to open it, mate. Know, yeah. <laughs> just going off the beaten track at the moment. I can hear Matty in the distance. What are you saying, Matty? Is this the money shot? Oh yeah, mate. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, I don't know if I've just stripped all of your corneas off because of the sun that's directly in the lens. <laughs> yeah. It's nearly ripping mine off. Yeah. But uh, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, right, let's carry on for a little bit. We found our spot, I think, to watch the sunset. It's going to be romantic, mate. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I hope you brought flowers and chocolates. Yeah, I brought flowers and chocolates, don't worry. <laughs> right, let's crack on, see what else we can see and we'll return to that beautiful little spot later on to watch the sunset. So our suspicion is that this is Major's Leap, a very underwhelming location, it is. considering that we've got loads of signposts along this walking yeah. route leading us to this very spot and no other signpost saying that we're actually arrived yeah. at this very spot. Those two signs up there, both direct up and down to a bridle way. But this is the only place of some significance out of the other paths yep. that you would identify as being potentially Major's Leap. Leave a comment below, have we completely missed it altogether? Are we only a few feet away? And we're never gonna see it. But I believe this is it. Yeah. This, this must be it, Major's Leap. And I've got a story to recite for you guys. I've got my phone up now to give you some of the most professional dialogue that you'll ever hear when it comes to reciting stories. So, Major's Leap. Major Smallman was his name, and he was a big supporter of King Charles I. Was it King Charles I? It was King Charles I, actually. He was fleeing from the redheads, sorry, from the roundheads, <laughs> on his horse, on horseback. In this area, he was fleeing the roundheads because he was supportive of King Charles I. And it was at this very spot, or so I believe, that he then leaped over the edge with his horse from the roundheads. The roundheads thought that he had died from this leap, which, looking at it, you wouldn't think someone would die. Maybe I can do some like really clever CGI stuff where we can actually be on Major's Leap here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe in the future. <laughs> With a big concrete plinth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I refuse to believe that this is. But I'm reciting a story to you anyway. Anyway, after he had jumped off the edge here with his horse and the roundheads believed him to be dead, it was then that King Charles I sent his men only a few hours later to then kill off the roundheads. So it is assumed that he survived and was able to warn King Charles I to gather his men to come and fight the Roundheads. And that is my little dialogue, monologue of Major's Leap, or what we believe to be Major's Leap here. Do you think, do you think we've hit the right spot? I think this is the only place it points to, man. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, yeah, I mean, I mean, let's just, let's just wait for the ghost to turn up, perhaps he might know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the only place that actually is signposted, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, and all the other signposts that are up further than, along this path don't actually give any directions to Major's Leap. So I can only assume that that is it. It's just slightly more overgrown at the moment. What's so 
Mark, what colour was the sign for Major's Leap, bro? Blue. They're both blue, mate. They're both. Ah. <laughs> Scoo the Scooby-Doo moment didn't work. Yeah, they're both blue, leading right. in completely <laughs> different directions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go and catch this sunset, shall we? Come on, Matty. Da 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 da. Come on, just imagine those steps as the sunset. Come on. Oh, da da. I'll jog with you. I'll jog with you. Come on. Da 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 da. Da -da 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 -da. We're gonna miss the sunset. <laughs> right, on. gonna get a little jog on to try and get to this sunset. We're not too far away, but the sun is setting over the left shoulder there. Oh, come on, we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> There's a couple of clouds coming that might destroy our view, but we're gonna give it a go. Thank God this camera's got stabilization. Have we made it in time? Have we done it? Come on, Matty. Nearing the finish point now. Oh, well, I think we've made it in time, mate, but it's just loads of cloud. Yeah. That is annoying. <laughs> That's annoying, man. That is so annoying. Come on, cloud. I won't swear. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Damn. Well, I think we're going to sit it out here for a little bit. Yeah. Cry on each other's shoulder. <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, that sun's still pretty high. Yeah. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that by the time that does actually set, yeah. that a lot of this cloud is cleared. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Cross your fingers. Fingers crossed. All right. Bring you back in a sec. Once we've caught our breath, had a sip of water, let me just leave you with this absolutely fantastic view before we cut to the next scene the rolling hills of Shropshire. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. If there's any other suggestions, anywhere in the UK that you think I should visit, leave a comment below. I'm always looking for new suggestions on places. Thank you to Matty for joining me in this video. Matty's sure. hopefully going to be joining me in future videos possibly, and he's also going to be hopefully creating his own YouTube channel as well yeah. at some point in the near future. Anyway, we're going to leave you here at this beautiful view, which would be much more beautiful if the sun was out, on Wenlock Edge in Shropshire. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.